What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sailor Turn Gamer and we are back in the building coming at you with another Dauntless video. Today we are talking about my piercing part breaker build. Yep, it's all about hitting that piercing. It's all about breaking those parts and it's all about getting those mats so you can continue to go on and grind out gear but support your teammates in the process. So Throughout the video, I'm going to be explaining why I chose the pieces that I chose, and I'm going to be explaining, you know, the way that you use the build in the act of the hunt, at least the way that I intend for it to be used when I particularly play with it. Of course, you guys can do whatever you want. Uh, following the breakdown of the build, I'm going to roll into a hunt, and you guys can stick around and enjoy that. Uh, not only will you enjoy it, but... I'll be talking about the movements and the choices that I make in order to play the build the way that I feel as though it could best be played. So, uh, without further ado, let's talk about the build. Okay, so I am a repeater guy first and foremost. So, repeaters are some of my go-to weapons when it comes to playing Dauntless. And so, that was a pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, but let's break this down, right? So you have your barrel modifications. We're going with a storm barrel, but to be honest, you can pretty much use whichever barrel you'd like or whichever barrel would be beneficial to the hunt. So that changes. But full board chamber. This is a part of the staple for this build. Full board chamber. Fires a piercing bolt in a line dealing damage that falls as it travels. And the empowered effect is that it deals greatly increased damage and pushes the slayer backwards. So you can really pierce through and get a lot of damage but more specifically a lot of part damage yep part damage is going to be huge for this is going to allow you to continue to go down and you know break these parts a lot faster so you have captain's grip this is pretty much a staple and it's probably going to be a staple in almost every single one of my builds uh, because you get 20 percent increase attack speed for 15 seconds and the empower state is that you're going to grant the same buff to all of your slayers which comes into that support status Extraction Catalyst is one of my favorite catalysts, but we're using this one for the build. Due to being able to dodge, you get a two second reduction if you dodge through a behemoth attack. So you can use your abilities more often. Specifically, your full board chamber is what you want to try to use consistently and often as possible. Stoneheart Prism, in my opinion, is still one of the best prisons in the game, even with the slight nerf and some of its effect. But being able to receive a health shield for doing damage is great and that's going to pair well with our lantern of choice that I'll explain much later and it also pairs incredibly well with full bore chamber so we'll talk about that a little bit later as we go down so as we look at our perks we're using plus six etheric attunement plus six blaze storm conduit molten predator evasion boom let me break this down for you etheric attunement is going to allow us to get our lantern charge as quick as possible or a lot faster than what the base level is which is going to come into play because we're using koshai's bloom and it is amazing i'll break that down later as well but blade storm's pretty straightforward that's where that part breaking comes into play plus 40 part damage on hit plus 400 part damage after dodging through an attack and we have this little bit of evasion down here which gives us an extra 21 percent dodge window so that's going to allow us to dodge even more with the higher chance and when we do dodge we're going to be able to do more part damage and then we have the conduit molten combination conduit molten amazing i love playing long range support or close range support but in general i think these are some of the best perks within the game so conduit using your lantern hold ability you're going to get 25 percent attack speed for all your slayers so you're doing a great job of supporting your team plus having max molten which is going to give you three molten hearts on a 16 second cooldown which is an amazing buff because it grants attack and movement speed so that is amazing with the repeaters the faster and higher your attack speed is the faster your reload thus you can continue to just put bullets down field and knock these targets out 
We're going with a plus six predator. Predator is amazing, dealing 35% increased damage after not getting hit for 15 seconds. The bonus is removed when you get hit, but having that extra 21% dodge window can help reduce the chances of you getting hit. And that 35% increased damage is going to come into play for that full board chamber, which is amazing. Uh, being able to have extra damage on that is going to be awesome. So as long as you can survive through the battlefield, dodge through uh, enemies and not get hit, you can continue to use that full bore. And when you dodge through, you're going to get reduction on the ability timer, which is going to allow you to consistently use full bore more frequently than what you would. And we accomplished that, of course, by with this helmet, which is Rezakiri's Light Crown. Rezakiri is one of the later in-game behemoths, so some of you newer players may not have it yet, but it is amazing, and the hunt as well is pretty fun. That's where we put one of our Molten's at, and it comes with Conduit. And then we got, I'm going to talk about this second one. So we have the gloves for Rezakiri as well, right? So that's where another Conduit comes from. So that's how we get Max Conduit, and we chose to go with Blade Storm on there to pair up with the blade storm that we placed on our repeaters and we also placed evasion there as well and then we have this hell's blade here which comes from another one of the later in game behemoths but he's very very fun as well and that's where that molten comes into play and we tacked on plus three predator sail attached to that and then the stride of the thorns which comes from koshai and that's where we get plus three predator as well to max that out to plus six predator it will attach the Etheric Atuma, which we doubled up on Etheric Atuma here as well. So Koshai's Bloom is the last thing that I want to talk about when, when discussing this build. It is incredibly amazing. It's in fact my favorite lantern in the game, hands down. I got a couple of favorite things in the game for each category. This is definitely my favorite lantern in the game. Why, you may ask? Well, not only with the latest patch did they buff the whole damage that you can do. It used to be 650 damage. Now they buffed it by 100, so it's 750 terra damage that you're going to be able to do when you dash in. Dashing in is huge for the repeaters because, well, you can't sprint while having your weapon out. The only way you can sprint is by putting your weapon away. And the way I play with my repeaters, I do not put my weapon away typically. Typically, if I'm trying to get from point A to point B in the middle of a hunt, I am going to roll which I usually have roll, dodge roll reduction on my builds, but not today, not for this build. And if I don't roll, Koshai's Bloom kicks in and it is amazing. Dashing in a direction dealing 750 damage. Now the damage is awesome, especially with the buff that I was just discussing, but the dash is the amazing part of this build. Being able to get in close, close the gap, to be able to reload, to get your empowered reload, to be able to have buffed abilities is key. Now, the damage is icing on top because once you dodge in, you are close enough to have that empowered state. You do a little bit of splash damage with 750 terror damage, which is kind of awesome because that's like, whoa, that's, that's icing on top. But the butter of this build, right? Remember at the beginning, let me scroll back up here really quickly. Remember at the beginning where we talked about Stoneheart Prism and being able to stack that health shield for a second. Well, that's just a temporary shield, and it goes away, obviously, once you get hit and you take damage. But what comes into play and, and works for your survivability so you can continue to support your teammates by breaking parts and increasing their attack speed and movement speed, this is where this comes into play as well. In the instant ability. 10% of the damage dealt will heal you for 8 seconds. So doing this makes you incredibly difficult to die due to being able to stack your damage and abilities properly so what do i mean by that well there's a particular combination that's incredibly easy to do and i'm going to show you throughout the hunt because it's a great way to get a lot of health back and uh with that being said we're going to hop into a hunt and i'm going to break this down and i'll see you guys there all right guys so before we hop into this hunt this is where that comes into play where i talked about swapping out your barrel the barrel can always change depending on what is needed best so since we are hunting a firebrand chirag we're doing a heroic level two so this is going to be fun uh, we switched over to a frost weapon so that is key to be able to maximize your damage and have a better hunt the piercing works amazing on the bigger behemoths because hey they're bigger all right so we want to dash in as soon as you go in 
with molten it's going to instantly proc so you instantly have that movement speed and attack speed already you want to stay close use your rolls see i don't take my weapons away you always want to roll because you don't need your stamina as much with repeaters right we got boom we had the full bore we procced it we got a lot of damage there's that shield kicking in you got your lantern ability don't be afraid to use it you always want to use it when you have it be sure to throw out your empowered when you have them you never want to use your abilities when they're not empowered I should have said something but I'm turning green right now that's me getting that health back as you see we got max health because if you notice we are using our full bore to the back so if you guys aren't familiar with the number system different numbers signify different things in the game and so boom when you got yellow numbers that's those are those part breaker numbers we're talking about and they are booming guys if you have your lantern ability be sure to use it again you have splash damage with the dash but not only that it allows you to have that empowered state be sure to throw those lanterns down and look at that we got a 449 aether shield which is giving you protection it's giving you protection that's going to allow you to continue to be safe enough to have very high amounts of health and if you were to take damage you could always use your instant ability which is an instant heal the more you can save using your lanterns the better you are in the end you always want to use your hold though because when you use it the conduit activates and when the conduit activates you get even more attack speed by pairing that up properly oh my god by pairing that up properly with your throw ability you're going to have high 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 amounts of attack speed and if you grab your molten's as long if you grab your molten's when they proc you're always going to have a molten activated so it's a good combination you want to activate there you go activate that full bore you always want to look at that speed look at that speed you want to activate that full bore whenever you have it remember dodging through an attack is going to let you get it even longer we took damage but not really because we have a 944 aether shield so this is a part of why that's great and when you dash in coach eyes lantern pops procs again all those yellow numbers that's part breaking numbers the white numbers are basic numbers I like to go from the back of the enemy obviously because you're not directly in front of them and look at that he's gone okay so I like to go from the back of the enemy because on one hand obviously you're not directly in front of them but on another end obviously going front to back is going to give you uh, more area for your piercing targets to go through and that's only a good thing right that's only a good thing with having the plus six etheric attunement that's allowed that allows you to get your lantern charge back quite frequently and so that's a really really great thing because you can constantly use it thus the conduit is constantly procking so it's a pretty fun 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 one to play and it allows you to consistently remain successful with having high amounts of health and being safe yet supporting your team and breaking parts off in the process i don't know if you guys got a little snippet of that but we actually did rip his tail right off and again guys we're doing a heroic we're doing a heroic hunt here so you know we actually did rip his tail off with the large amounts of proc uh large amounts a of part damage that we're actually doing so it's been a pretty successful venture if i do say so myself and there are more parts to be targeted which is great look at that as soon as you shoot the enemy at the first time your motion always activates so you want to try to be up close use your rolls to your advantage you're fast even a faster behemoth isn't as fast as you always want to stay behind them so you can get all those yellow numbers to proc 
get your always use your throwable when you have an empowered state try to reload when you can don't be afraid to dash even when you're far away like that because the conduit activates conduit activates so don't be afraid to dash same as don't be afraid to use your rolls it's not a bad thing also a, a little pro tip on Koshai's Lantern it'll, it'll, you can actually dash through enemies that way too so it's pretty clutch use always always use your abilities try to always be behind them too so that way boom you can get something like a smolder I don't even know what that is but you can get a smolder to drop and I'm betting that's a high level mat so never never be afraid to use your abilities because they are game changers and that was a firebrand heroic so this build's pretty efficient it's pretty fun if you guys have enjoyed the video um, I want to say I appreciate it uh, in the description box I will have a link to Dauntless Builder so you guys can get the actual written version of the build and you can check that out and get straight to it I like to do it in these long winded formats so that way you guys can get my full thoughts on how I use whatever build I plan on using um, and this is my main build this is my main build and it's incredibly fun and easy to go with so yeah man I, those of you that have enjoyed it be sure to give the video a like and a share more importantly join the fleet all you gotta do is hit that sub button and you can be a part of this amazing community where we are going to be continually pushing out dauntless content i've been playing this game for a long time and i love it uh, until then this sale will be out in the open ocean and i will catch you guys in the next video peace